is the subject of today's Food for Thought. Hi, and my name is Jodie Bunting and welcome to tonight's Facebook Live, where tonight we're going to be making a vision board. So what I want to ask you tonight is, what do you dream of? What is your vision of the future? What are you, What is your dream for the future? You know, when we're on lockdown right now, it's a great time to think about this. And, and many of you will naturally be thinking about it. Maybe you are having dreams every night of what's going to happen when you're out of lockdown or what you really miss and what you really want to achieve in life. So I think it's really important, especially on a Friday night. It's not the time for cooking. It's not the time to exercise. Friday night is to talk about you. It's a little bit of self-love, a little bit of self-care. And part of that is planning your future. So what I'm going to be doing tonight is we're going to do it together, guys. We can make a vision board. Now, you can see that I've got my physical vision board here. Uh, if you don't happen to have a pin board, an empty pin board, some pins and some photos right there, then what you guys can do, you can either use a paper and pen and just write down the topics that I'm saying and maybe write down some suggestions. Or if you've got your laptop or your phone there, you might want to Google some photos and save those photos or screenshot them. Um, or if you use a website called Pinterest, you can actually pin some photos from Google into an album which can also be your vision board. Uh, for those of you who have got Pinterest, if you want to go to pinterest.com forward slash bunting jody, you will see on my space my vision board which we're about to create. Okay, so you can see a little example. So let's get started. I've got some photos ready. You do want to make one of these at home, uh, a visual one, which I love. I have it in my bedroom. Um, so all you need is a cork board, some pins and some photos, which I'm going to be showing you. So first of all, let's talk about what's going to go right in the middle here. So what is your the most important thing that you dream about and you think about? What will make your life complete? Okay, it's a big question, I know. Um, and what will make me and my life complete will be to marry the love of my life. So I'm going to stick this in the middle of my board. Okay, so this is the centre of my vision. So whatever happens with my work, my finances, my family, this is going to be my main goal is to find the love of my life and be with them forever, okay? Uh, I know a lot of people, especially if you've divorced, things like that, a lot of people have had some bad relationships, bad experiences, and they think, that's it, I want to be single, I don't want to go through that anymore. Unfortunately, if you do read uh, books about how to be happy and stuff like that, you can be happy alone, I would say probably 75%. But to be 100% completely happy, you know, life is, I'm afraid, all about our partnerships and being with somebody and sharing your life with somebody. Um, so as I said, for most people, especially if they are single, this should be your number one. Uh, I'll give you a couple of examples um, where I've met people that have found their like perfect partners and the best description they all give um, I always remember one of my uh, slimmers, uh, she's in love with the love of her life and what she was saying to me, he's, he's like my best friend, you know, they have fun together, they laugh together uh, and one of the, the main things is when you can just sit there for hours and hours and talk about nothing but something, okay, so this is one of the, the key uh, indicators that you, you find the right one. Um, obviously, we can talk a lot about the wrong partners and you're not being happy, but that's uh, that's not Slim Brother. <laughs> that's a different organisation. Okay, so that's my first vision there is my intimate relationship, my one-to-one -one relationship. And as I said, that is still my main goal and my main focus. Okay, then that if you're already married and you've already found the love of your life, then there may be nothing on your board. But for me, that's him right now. Okay. The next one is your other relationships, okay? 
this could be with your family this could be with your friends this could be with your neighbors so any sort of connections that are going to make you feel good so again if you've ever read any research about what makes you happy uh, one of the the biggest things is what makes people happy is to connect with the people around them so you often see people who are kind of a little bit grumpy head down they don't want to talk with anybody about anything okay so this is and not a good thing and it's really important to connect with people which is why we love things like Facebook because I can see Maureen, Tracy, Adele, Alison, Maggie, Liz, Nicola, Wendy, Bev, Sue are all here. Hi guys, I'm connecting with you and you know what, it makes me happy that you're with me tonight. So thank you very much. So what are your connections which you want to, to work on or you want to be thankful for? That's the other thing as well as to be a vision. Um, you might want to put a photo of the love of your life in the middle of your vision board because you know they make you happy and you want your vision to stay on them for the, the rest of your life. So one of the first ones I'm going to put on is a little photo of me and my daughter. So that's Phoebe. Uh, this is when she's four years old and we were in Disneyland in Paris. Uh, and this is my favourite memory of her growing up. Uh, because she always used to love Disney princesses and she used to love the princess castle and I still remember to this moment when we were on the coach and we drove into the Disneyland and we saw the castle for the first time it was possibly the most exciting time of my whole life and I just remember like the castle, the castle because we'd talked about it for so many years so a photo of me and her at Disneyland Paris as I said, is just a nice reminder of when we were probably the most connected in our whole life there. I'll just close them so you can have a little look. So that's Phoebe. So I'm gonna put that right next to my relationship. Because as I said, it is an important part of my life. And so many gay guys, you know, they just wish they had children. So I'm one of the luckiest gay guys alive because I'm gay. And I've got a little daughter, which is great. Okay, right, the next one is my family relationships. Okay, so I'm going to keep this quite broad, you know, quite open, and that's just to be connected with my family. Um, I know a lot of people, you know, everybody loves their family. Do you like them? Do you like spending time with them? A lot of the time, no. <laughs> but I'm quite lucky that me and my mum get on really well, and we always have done. So I'm going to say keeping close with my family is going to be next up so we're going to put that on this side and as i said it's not a specific photo that one i've got one sister and my dad which i don't get on with that well so again just being more general on that one just being closer to my family is a nice way to link that in now as you know uh, i'm into weight loss diet health stuff like that so for me uh, after relationships the next part is to do with health um, now I know a lot of people they don't like numbers they don't like BMI stuff like that but because um, I'm in the health and wellness industry and a lot of that as is all to do with government guidelines government recommendations I have got a weight goal so my weight goal is 13 stone 2 and that's the highest range for my height, my weight and my age. Now as I said a lot of people don't like an actual number to get to. So I'm going to give you part 2, the other suggestion you can do. I'm going to put that quite next to my vision. Okay, so 13 2 are the scales quite there. Uh, one of my personal training training friends shared a post the other day about you know people do focus too much on numbers because when I get to 13 two, then what? So as well as a number, if you've got a number, the other thing to focus on is what you'd like to look like or how you'd like to feel, how strong you'd like to be. Um, now I was about 14 stone there. I'm not far from what I am now. Uh, but because, as you know, when you wear a jacket, it does cover you up a lot. So, where's the camera? I'll just... There we go. So, this is my kind of look that I want. Uh, this was my friend Robin's wedding that I went to. 
and it was just so cool because I wore my I got to wear my <laughs> white trainers to a wedding. Not many people wear trainers to a wedding, but with that outfit I was able to. So we're going to put this right under the wedding photo. Maybe I'll get married like that guy. It might just be my casual wedding outfit. Which if I got married on a beach would be fine. That actual wedding was in Branston. I don't know how I got away with it at Burn on Trent, but I did. Okay, so that's the next part. Right, my next, so as I said, if you're just joining us, welcome Jody, Raj, Sue, Bev, Wendy, Nicola. Um, welcome to the live video. We're making a vision board. Now making my, if you'd like to make yours, uh, what I want you to do is have it have a paper and pen or open Google and start to save photos on these different areas. Now the first one is your relationships. So do you have a perfect partner? Do you need to put a photo of Anthony Joshua on your board? Uh, so whoever either they look like or you just want that feeling of love, that's the first part. And the second are your relationships. Is it with family? Is it with friends? So what does it look like? If you can have a picture, if you're writing this down, it might just be a word. And the second and the third one that I've touched on um, is just about your health. What are your goals for health? What would you like to look like? What would any numbers look like? So that's the second part. So if you want to write that down or just Google that. Um, and then the second part, sorry, the third part, um, is going to be your job. So what do you do? Because this is really important. You know, we've got to love our work and we've got to we've got to make a living as well. That's the other part to it. So do you have any areas what you'd like to change or do you love what you do? Now, what I love is teaching aqua aerobics. So here I am dressed as a chicken at David Lloyd. Here's some of the lovely ladies at David Lloyd. Uh, that day was great. So again, just looking at that photo just makes me smile. <laughs> I love it. Um, and the reason I've chosen David Lloyd and not, not the other health clubs is because what has lockdown has reminded me that exercise outdoors is just amazing. Not only are you losing calories because of the exercise, but you're getting the vitamin D from being outdoors and the sunlight touching your skin. And also just getting out there and just refreshing your mind. So it's really reminded me that exercising outdoors is definitely the future guys so for me to teach water aerobics in the open air in the sunshine is definitely got to be on my vision board so let's put david lloyd up there as my vision for the future now obviously we have british weather here so it might not always be possible but obviously when i used to work in egypt live in egypt I used to love teaching outdoor aqua every day. It was great. <laughs> okay, um, then other part of my um, life that I really enjoy at the moment is coaching. And that's my one-to-one -one coaching clients. Here's some of my clients here. So let's get this up on my vision board. Uh, as I said, it can be quite random. You can put it however you like. Just the most important thing is whatever draws your eyes so we've got to be in the middle. So whatever you, you want your main focus to be, it's got to be in the center of your board because you want your eyes to focus on that at all times. And obviously, when I get married, I'll be changing that picture to the love of my life. Okay, so that's the other part. Now the other part, again, of my uh, future and my, my business side, I'd really like the Slim Brother app. So what I've done, I've doctored this photo and actually put a Slim Brother app on this phone. So this is part of your vision. If you can kind of recreate how it will look like somehow, it's really clever because you're almost manifesting it. You're also making it happen. It's like that little carrot in front of the, don uh, the donkey. You're, you're putting that vision there and you just want to jump towards that carrot. So here's a little business model of what my app would look like on someone's telephone. So let's put this over here. We'll put it here down a little bit next to my lovely wedding outfit. Okay, um, and then the other part, what I'd really like to do, especially when I've done my qualification, which we'll come back to in a minute, is release my own book. So the Slim Brother book, this is what the Slim Brother book would look like 
by Jodie Bunting. Okay, so let's pop this this side. So that's the Slim Brother book. Now I love the Great Grandmother Diet, as in the name, um, but I think um, commercially Slim Brother might uh, entice people more. So let's call the book Slim Brother. Uh, and then as you know, I'm going, from September I'm going to university. Uh, and what I'd like to do from that is continue the Slim Brother brand but it'd be a UK highly qualified nutritional therapist. So that's the, the actual vision with that side of the education. So nutritional therapy, what I'd like to do is to cure most people of most things through nutrition. Okay, so this is what I want to achieve. And let's put this next to the book. I think that would work well, wouldn't it? So let's put nutritional therapy next to the book. As I said, you can either just jot things down or just start to Google things, save some photos which are which are going to be part of your vision for the future. And at the moment we're talking about your work. And then the final thing that I've added here, uh, you may have seen me, for those of you who follow my social media channels, me banging on about YouTube. So this is a screenshot of my YouTube channel, but I've doctored how many subscribers I've got. <laughs> And I've got one million subscribers. I actually haven't at the minute. At the moment, I've got 986. So I'm 14 away from 1,000. Um, and now the reason 1,000 is so important, because when you get to 1,000, they change the threshold, um, is when you start getting paid. So very shortly, I'm gonna start getting my YouTube salary. It's a very small salary from YouTube. Uh, but when I get a million subscribers, I will get 20 grand a year, 30 grand a year. So this is why um, part of my vision is to grow YouTube is to get 1 million subscribers. So this is what I would like to do. And I would like making my YouTube videos and giving advice and helpful tips of my cooking <laughs> skills on YouTube um, to be part of my future because I just love doing it. It's really good fun. Uh, and especially on YouTube Live as well. So let's get that up there next to the nutritional therapy. Let's keep it all over this side. Um, if you do want to make something like that, if you want to doctor any photos, there's a website called Canva, um, and you can digitally alter photos. So if you do need to do that, that's just a screenshot, and then I've coloured in how many subscribers I have there, and I've just put over 1M. Now the other important thing about that as well is instead of just writing one million over the photo, go to somebody's YouTube channel that's got a million subscribers and have a look what it looks like. Because it's only a small detail, the fact that it says 1M, but that's actually what it does look like when somebody has one million subscribers. So as part of this carrot that's dangling in front of your, your head, make sure it's you know it's actually going to look like that obviously it's slightly different when you're 20 years older and i'm that hair is not going to grow back <laughs> you know this is definitely dead and gone um so there is slightly issue with that photo i might just cut the top off but the rest of it i can look like that again no problem okay so that's section number three so we've got relationships in the middle we've got health at the top and the bottom there and then I've put business on the side here and again just to recap my business side um, I love teaching water aerobics I want a slim brother app I love teaching my one-to-one -one weight loss coaching clients I want to do my own book I want to be a nutritional therapist UK standard professional um, and I also want 1 million subscribers now the next bit is quite important okay but it's the, the next part I feel it relies on your income and your your work so that's got to be stable for the next bit to come through and that's your environment okay so let's first of all talk about your bedroom okay so if you could have any bedroom in the world, what would it look like? Now I've had this photo for years because I just, as soon as I saw it, I just loved it and I, I want to sleep there, okay? So this is my bedroom, okay? So it's basically an empty room 
just full of white, full of air, full of light, and it's just got the simple cotton sheets on or gown. <laughs> okay, so that's the vision of what I'd like my bedroom to look like in the future. Uh, and as I said, it's quite simple to make that happen. Most people could do a few adjustments and make almost exactly what that photo looks like. But for now, um, that is my vision for the future with my bedroom. Okay, next up, the next photo I like to use is what will it look like when I get up out of bed and actually go outside the French windows, which I'm going to have. I haven't got a photo of my French windows. Um, just say a quick hello to those of you joining us. Hi, Chels. Hi, Jane. Hi, Samantha. Hi, Glow. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Roma. Hi, Diane. Um, Glow, who's with us. I've got a photo of David Lloyd. You're not on that photo, Glow. Uh, but we've got lots of your friends there on that picture. Okay, then what we're just talking about, this is my bedroom. When I step out, I want this, okay? I want to be stepping out and looking at the sea. So you can see I've got my little sun lounger there, which I'm going to lie down after waking up and just clear my thoughts, okay? Um, now that, it looks like a beach in the Maldives. It could be Egypt. It could be Skegness. Who knows where that beach is, but as long as it's a beach and you can hear the crashing waves, I'm happy with that, okay? Um, so with some things I was really specific like this, but other things, it's just got to be a kind of how, what would make you feel good. So I'm going to put that down here next to the phone, okay? So that is the vision of my environment, what it would look like after I've got up first thing in the morning. Okay, now the next, so what sort of house is this bedroom and this uh, overlooking the sea going to be? Uh, now this, this is linked in with business. Uh, for those of you who've read my website, and have known me for quite a while, my other uh, ambition is to have my own holistic hotel. So this is what my holistic hotel will look like. So lo lo nice and light, nice and airy. Um, and now looking at that picture, it probably does look abroad somewhere, but maybe it's in Blackpool. Maybe it's on the Isle of Wight. We don't know. But my vision is that it would look like that. As long as there was trees around, lots of grass and a nice blue sky, maybe that's not Blackpool, uh, I'll be happy with that. Okay, but you can see it's very light. It's got some trees in there. So that's the holistic hotel where I'll be living because I'll be living and breathing this stuff. So that's where it links in. So let's put that photo down near the holistic therapy. Now what you'll notice here is that these photos are going around the outside and that is on purpose because as part of our vision, we don't want to lose, we don't, our eyes don't want to go away from our centre vision, which as I said is in the centre there. Now next up, is what is it going to look like behind there? So we know what it looks like inside. We don't know where it is, but what is it going to look behind there? This. So my other vision is a organic garden. Now again, lockdown has, has really made those people with allotments, who people who grow their own fruit and veg, really feel lucky and really feel happy. Uh, because be, to be able to provide yourself is a great thing in this day and age and obviously you know what chemicals are going in it you know what seeds are in there as well so for me to have an organic garden um, is part of my vision and again it would link really well with the uh, holistic hotel now the other thing now to if maybe you don't want that but you do want to grow your own vegetables so maybe you remember i said aldi this week are doing a little walk-in um, plastic greenhouse so maybe that's going to be your organic garden or maybe uh, having a local allotment so a lot of my slimmers have got their own allotments so that's sort of another way that you can uh, obviously grow your own stuff so let's pop on we're running over running out of space that side so let's just pop that here and that is the organic garden which is going to go behind the holistic hotel 
Right, guys. So they were quite serious things. We were talking about relationship, jobs, um, and what your environment will be like. It's time to have some fun now. So let's be materialistic for a minute, okay? Let's talk about maybe you've got ladies, you've got a, a wild dress that you've always wished of having. Maybe you've got diamonds that you'd like to have. So let's let's be materialistic and a little bit fun. You know, let's put your favourite jewellery and stuff like that. Now this is where you have to be really careful because this has been my most successful part of my uh, vision board. I've had on their iPhones, I've had on their laptops, uh, I've had on their smart cars and all these things have come true. Okay, so wish carefully because with materialistic things they can happen quite quickly and they will most certainly happen. So what I'm going to put, I'm just going to put one thing on there and that's my vision of my car and it's the BMW Z4. Okay, white. white. <coughs> so that is my vision for car. And I'm just going to keep that as my, my only real one materialistic thing. And because my smart car happened, when I started looking up the finances of these, it was not actually that different. So I'm just looking at my other photos. I'm running out of space, actually. So let's put the car here, because then we're all more or less staying in a little theme. And the other photos are just going to have to go on the outside, okay? So that's the materialistic check done. So as I said, if you're making this list on your phone, searching photos, if you're making this list by just writing, uh, and then just put a few notes down there or do a little Google search on something that you really want. And then the final section, I'm going to say is fun things, okay? Some things may be that, you know, you don't need them to be true or you don't need them to be real for your life to be successful or complete or to be happy. But maybe just some fun things that you'd like to happen. So, again, I'll share with you some things I put on my uh, previous ones. I wanted to be on um, Loose Women. I wanted to go on um, This Morning on ITV. And for those of you who know me, in 2017, I actually got to go on This Morning on a live broadcast from Sharm El Sheikh uh, with Holly and Phil on this morning. So, check, achieved. So that's why it won't be going back on there, because I have achieved it. But what the two things that I have got that I'd like to do, and some of you know this one, I'd love to present on QVC, the chopping channel. As you know, when I start talking about something and the advantages of it, I just, I can't stop. And I just love the whole cheesiness of QVC. So I'm going to put on there, presenting on QVC, I'm going to squeeze it down the bottom here. Let's put that there. So QVC, and he even looks like me a little bit, that guy. Looks like the, looks like Paddy from Emmerdale. Okay, and then the other thing that I'd really like to do is have a chat show. My own little chat show, obviously not like Jeremy Kyle. Uh, but more like uh, Lily Savage style um, haul. Uh, and obviously, it could just be a one-off special. I'll be happy. I, I don't need a series. Just a one-off special will be fine. And as you know, the way uh, YouTube is going, uh, I probably won't even need it on terrestrial TV. Because once I get my million viewers, guys, I'll be able to do my own show with my own celebrities. So let's leave that up there. And as I said, I've not done it quite specific. This is a cartoon photo. Um, but you can see how I look, so that's how I want to look. I'm not sure, sure who the uh, the brunette is, uh, but that could be somebody in a lovely aqua dress. So let's put that down here. And then I've got, got one more photo to add to my vision board before we complete. This is where you can maybe throw glitter on it, put hearts all over it, put stars all over it. But what I really love is this image. Uh, for those of you who know who Louise Hay is, this is the Louise Hay heart. So it's a rainbow heart. Now I know the NHS have stolen the gay pride rainbow at the moment. Uh, <laughs> but I'm hoping they will give it back to the gays. Uh, and when they do, um, I will be accepting this from the NHS. <laughs> so this is the, the rainbow heart. I just love this picture. And for me it just brings a little bit of fun back to the photo. Now, I'm just thinking where I can squeeze it because I'm running out of space. What I might do 
you just slip it I'll put the book up a little bit this is where some pre-planning might have been helpful you see let's squeeze the book up a little bit put that there and then the heart will go underneath perfect da -da 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 -da. so this ladies and gentlemen is my vision for the future it's now the 1st of May 2020 and we're in lockdown uh, if you're watching this in 2021 2022 check my YouTube maybe I've got a million subscribers already uh, maybe I've got married maybe I'm uh, busy at David Lloyd teaching outside aqua uh, maybe I'm busy in my uh, organic garden um, but it's just something really fun to do and I love doing vision boards um, and you, as I said earlier, especially with uh, financial things, with uh, materialistic things, it's amazing once you set your goals on what you want, how you stop spending money on crap and actually start saving money for things that you really want and would really, you know, be useful in your life. Um, so that was my uh, vision board. Uh, and as I said, for those of you just joining us, I'll just say a quick shout out. Oh, hi, Charlotte. Charlotte's here with us. Uh, Diane's here. Roma's here. Kelly's here. Hi, Jane. Hi, Rosie. Uh, welcome to the live video where today we're making vision boards. Uh, for those of you who weren't here from the beginning, if you watch it from the beginning, I'll go through the different sections. Uh, but this is the key to your future, the vision to your future. What are your dreams? Thank you for joining me today. Uh, if you make your own vision board, guys, take a photo, leave it on the comments. I'd love for you to share it with me. Uh, for more of my videos and lifestyle tips, how to be healthy, uh, then go to youtube.com forward slash Jodie Bunting and click on the subscribe button. Good night.